I have a lot of visionaries and idealists in my audience, and maybe you consider yourself one as well. One of the challenges for us idealists is that sometimes even our visionary and altruistic goals can be co-opted by our ego, which then leads to our downfall. Um, a lot of conscious leaders, in fact, start out with such an altruistic heart and then because they are so attached to their goal, it ends up being the goal is more important than anything else, including the process of getting there, and they start to hurt others and hurt themselves in this um, obsessive attachment to the end result that they envision. So that's what I want to uh, have us be mindful of, is, for example, you, could, you might say, well, George, I want to make, I want to help a lot of people, right? And I want to, I want to build this, and I want to contribute to that. So uh, that means that's so uh, visionary and altruistic, and and such a so good for the world. That that means that go, that goal is so important that I'm going to have to make a lot of money in order to to meet that goal, right? And oh, I want to make a lot of money so I can give away a lot of money to worthy causes and build things that the world needs. Okay, all right. Now that sounds fine, except that when you believe that you need to, you must do a certain thing in order to get to a certain result that's so important, you can start to work in a way called by any means necessary. The means justifies the end. And both of these are really dangerous because if you think you have to make a lot of money so you can give it away to people, then you will start to compromise how you make that money because you think, well, it, it's justified by the fact that I'm going to give it away to people, right? Uh, so, you know, people might engage in speculative investing that hurts uh, the economy, or they might be uh, selling services at a, a, a rate that's much higher than their, their clients and customers could pay for elsewhere for the same service. Because they're saying, well, I'm going to give away a lot of the money to, to people. So you see, it becomes ego talking to say, well, I am justified to do whatever I need to do because the end goal is so altruistic and important. And instead, I invite you and invite us, myself included, to remember that the present and how we, do, how we get to the future is as important and, and perhaps more important than the future goal itself. Because the future goal, the vision, the, the um, desired end scene is a fantasy until it actually happens, right? It's an illusion that we are going towards. But what's not an illusion is how we're acting now. It's how we're treating other people now and how we're treating our own health and our own well-being and our own conscience and integrity now. That's a reality. What we do now is a reality. What the future goal is, is a fantasy. So let us not allow the future goal to take precedence over the current behavior. So instead of thinking, I'm going to make a lot of money so I can then do a lot of good in the world, why don't you just do your best now to build a truly authentic business that so fulfills your heart and sits well with your conscience and other people are so grateful for it, an authentic business that you are proud for others to model in every way and then if you keep on improving your products and services it's gonna get so good that there will be so many buyers that you will end up you may end up making a lot of money and if you do make a lot of money then it becomes your opportunity and your responsibility to use that money wisely and for the greater good but maybe don't put the cart before the horse and say well I'm gonna make a lot of money and then I'm gonna do good well do good now you can do so much good now, and the actions you take on a daily basis is how you are making impact because you don't know if you'll ever get to that future goal. You don't know what's going to happen. You don't know how long you are destined to live. So be good now. Make an impact now in how you run your business and allow that future goal, that future desire to say, I love to make a lot of money. Help. Let that come to you if it is meant to be, if you are good enough to build your skills and your products and services to be good enough to allow that to happen. But focus on your behavior and building an authentic business today.